Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about edit mode and how to move our little points around on our design. So let's go ahead and swap on back to our select box. And we don't need all these crazy um, designs. And if you like yours, you know, you can keep them. Uh, you can move them to another collection. You can just shift click. So just click on the top one here and just go down to Suzanne and shift click at the very, the one right above Suzanne, shift click, and that'll select all of them. And then you can actually move them very easily just by hovering here or on the 3D viewport and typing M on the keyboard. And M is just to move. And so we say, hey, we want to move to a new collection and we can call those, call it add primitives and just hit okay. And then notice it has now moved into a new collection called add primitives right there. Uh, me, I don't really need them, but I just wanted to show you how to do that. You can uh, turn them off there. Uh, I'm just going to delete. I just right clicked and delete the hierarchy. That's going to delete everything in there. <laughs> now you can uh, just get back to your monkey here. All right. So now make sure you have your monkey selected and we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And yes, you can switch right here. You know, you can switch into edit mode, but I want you to get into the habit of constantly using tab to switch into that. Again, you can also use control tab if you want to be extra fancy or when you get into sculpting, uh, this little pie menu, control tab is very helpful as well. So today we're just going to be talking about the vertices. So the vertices, uh, once you switch into edit mode, you can already see there's little dots that have appeared all over our mesh. And these little dots are making up 3D geometry. So essentially 3D is just at least three points that are connected and then form a face. So really these are just a bunch of uh, quads that make up an object here. So that's all 3D really is. Um, but anyways, what I'm trying to tell you is that you can you have control over all of these little points. So just like we did before, you can move these with the G key. And that's what I do. I just hit G. You can also lock to the X and the Y and the Z. So go ahead and try that. Just click on any point you you want. Hit G to grab it. X and then Y and then Z. And that will let you move um, lots of vertices around. You can also use your selection modes uh, to you know draw a box around those. And that's also very powerful. And now you can take G and just move those. And again, anytime, say if you mess up, you're like move something really weird, you can always hit escape on your keyboard and that will help, um, you know, clear that action for you. And let me turn on my shortcut so you can see what's going on here. But similar to our move and rotate and scale in object mode, it's a little bit different when we're in edit mode. So say if I, uh, you know, still had some of this selected, maybe we'll switch to our circle select, maybe we'll just select some of these vertices here. And now we can actually rotate those vertices like that. Uh, you can also do here and just kind of, you know, just move your vertices and it totally reshapes your design here. And you may be asking like, why would I ever want to do this? But the, the point I'm trying to make is that sometimes when we're doing really advanced designs, you may want to come in here and move just one little point to the left or to the right or up and down, and you can do that. So uh, this is one of the reasons I really love Blender is that you can get really crazy detailed. Um, you can also, you know, shift click on some of these and use scale and you, you know, scale to objects or to vertices in. I think of these as just points, uh, but Blender calls them vertices. So you have your verts here. And so that's all I really wanted you to do um, in this lesson is kind of move your geometry around and then let's just reset. I'm just gonna do control Z and get our original geometry back to our original Suzanne there. So yeah, so feel free to play around and click on some of the points um, inside of your Suzanne model here and move them around. Kind of get familiar with that feeling. And then we're gonna go into the next lesson where we're talking about edges.